Greetings and welcome everyone. It's All You Can Geek Movie Cast episode 636. I'm one of your hosts, Jim Gass, joined by Mike C80. What's up? Corey Feinsad. Hey, hey. And Tony Korkanakis. Yo. I'm gonna take this off actually. The hell with it. Uh, welcome guys, welcome listeners and viewers to the movie cast. We're live streaming on Twitch starting Tuesday nights at 8 o'clock. Please join us live. You can ask some questions. We'll have some conversations with you guys. If you do miss this live stream, we are on YouTube the following day. And you can subscribe to both channels. Get notified when we have these uh, these podcasts. We got three three episodes today for you coming. Uh, Moviecast, Gamecast, and a bonus round for Ant-Man Quantum Mania. Uh, so stay tuned for all of that. But this is the Moviecast, folks. Uh, so guys... I guess uh, kick it off what I've been up to. I was off last week. Uh, I was out, out for a little little dinner with friends I hadn't seen in a long time. Um, so, you know, I, I watched all of – well, I had watched all of Poker Face. I think I mentioned that the week before. I was kind mm-hmm. of really – I don't know what it was. Like, uh, I'm not saying the show is amazing, but I'm just hooked on it. <laughs> it's that kind of vibe, I guess. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Cool. I, I enjoyed that quite a bit. And uh, I got to say, though, um, I'm caught up on Last of Us. And uh, it's phenomenal. Like, I really love what they've done with this show. Absolutely. Um, the latest episode obviously had uh, some DLC content in it, as we'll call it. It was um, the DLC but, content. Yeah, it was the DLC content. <clears throat> uh, but I, I, I really enjoyed mm. this um, rendition of the show, like what they've done with this. Like, it's really cool to know what's happening in the story, but still thoroughly enjoy seeing. Like, it's such a great story. I guess that's really what it is. So... You know, I, I, that's my biggest takeaway from this whole thing. Like, I'm really, really enjoying that. So I don't know if there's anything else really of note, like, watched that I've been doing. I've been playing a lot of stuff. Um, well, a lot. One okay. game. Cool. One game. But, um, yeah, so that's it for me, though. Um, uh, Tony, anything? Yeah, just more uh, Last of Us. Um, mm-hmm. I don't really care for this episode that much. It kind of I liked stuck. it. I liked it. I mean, it was okay, but, like, it was just... I think the pacing was weird, interrupting the uh, the previous oh, episode. Where it was? Like okay, it felt it was, so yeah. so much like The Walking Dead, like what they do. I'm just like, Jesus Christ, dude! Like why why are we doing this kind of stuff? I hate that. Um, I don't know. I like I it, it. this just felt like a little too one to one with the uh, the source material. So I was just kind of like, it's like okay, I know what's gonna happen. So I was just like I'm just going through the motions. The what? Mortal Kombat two part was awesome. The arcade like it was fine. It's just nothing was like new or exciting to me i was just like all right like here we are yeah yeah i mean is anybody like a little bit annoyed that they're going to try to do just gonna they're gonna do the whole season one as the first game like i feel like this should have been a two season kind of thing right i don't have a problem with it i feel like pacing's been good i mean i feel like though like where they just were and i remember that point in the game i was just like man this whole like encounter was pretty intense i mean i feel like that wasn't like that you know at the at the university um so I, I just remember that being a little more intense there uh, than what we had. So I, I just think it didn't have that needed, same. It's, it's a TV yeah, show. It's not so. a game. I know. You're like I don't need to have like stop the story so we can have a shootout and all that stuff. I guess you're right. I guess you're right. I mean that's uh, me. I, 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 I get what you're saying. I agree with Jim. in episode four. So it's yeah, like, I think and the, then people didn't like that. So I, th- I think the yeah, pacing yeah. of the second half is not as good as the first half. The the yeah. two episodes in what was it Kansas City or wherever we were. That just yeah, I, I hated that. It's just like what mm-hmm. on what's her name? Like Karen, basically is Catherine, maybe mm-hmm. whatever her name was. It's like yeah, oh god, like like the, that combined with the fact that we episode three was fantastic. I love episode three, but like it was so sure. so out of you know the whole you know um, Joel and Ellie thing, and then now this one was just Ellie. It's like I don't know. It just feels like we're taking two episodes out of ten to just be like yeah these are side stories and i get it it's character building but like when we're going to consider the end of the season is going to be the first game i'm like well how many more seasons are you doing like i don't i don't know i just don't see how they do the second one in one season but maybe they don't that probably would have to be two i think they even said they plan on doing two seasons for that 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 game so which is interesting i only know loose story about that game i never played the game actually so this will be interesting for me um so, Corey, I'm, I'm guessing you watched Last of Us, right? You like... Yeah, you no, I, I, I liked it. I liked it. I thought uh, Left Behind was the name of the episode. Fitting for the the game. Because yeah. that's what the DLC is called. So you knew it was coming, like you said, Jim. And uh, I, I agree that you know the story, but you, I like to see how it unfolds. I like to see the little 
changes they make here and there for a television show and they do sometimes change a lot and sometimes don't change anything at all and here they mostly stick to what you get in the game but again we mentioned but like just a second ago is like there are moments where you have to insert gameplay and so like it feels bigger but last of us was a short game it's like nine hours maybe like, yeah. it's not that long of a game so there's a lot of a lot of action sequences and gameplay moments that we're thinking about that extend it. I don't think you need more than what we're getting. Like two more episodes seems about right for where they're at at the story. So I don't. I feel for me the pacing seems fine. Uh, I don't think it's wasted time. I, I think that all the, oh, I the think moments we're getting. I think it is. Yeah, I think like, it's fast. When they're like it's three fast. months later, I'm like, what the fuck do you mean three months later? <laughs> like, we spent yeah. like two days with these characters and then three months later, it's like, okay. Like, I don't know, I'm nitpicking, mm -hmm. but it's just yeah. like, for, for me, I'm just like, you could be telling more stories of these characters that we didn't get that's, in the game. That's which what is what I was like, looking for. I wanted more I of thought, that. Mm -hmm. And whenever we do get that, yeah. it's great. So just give me more of that. Why are we rushing through this? I don't know. It's weird. That's, that's for me. I'm like, you could have gotten yeah, easily I feel like I don't feel it's being rushed, so... Huh? You could have gotten like two seasons out of each, the, the first game and the second game, and still had you guys just have explored more story. You guys just don't want to get to the second game. We get it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I'm, I just like Tony said though, like fleshing out the characters more uh, would have been great. I feel like we've gotten yeah. some great side, we got right. some great side like character I'm, stories. Like but... I'm saying, my favorite yeah, part yeah. was with Joel and uh, when he was having that conversation with Tommy from yeah. the previous. Episode. Yes, those yeah. are my favorite yeah. moments of the game uh, of the of the show because it's not wasn't in the game like that, uh, mm -hmm. and I want more of that. But it feels yeah. like that's it. We're done. <laughs> We're done. Yep. So yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. um, Corey, uh, Tony, anything else you'd watch? I, I, I moved over to Corey. But I didn't More Ducktales, but nothing really to say about that. Nice, it's a great show. Nice. My, my daughter's falling asleep to Ducktales right now. So <laughs> same show. Uh, Corey, what? You, anything else for you? No, yeah, nothing of note. Really, just more anime. So cool. Blue Lock still killing it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and Mike. Um. Just. Inching into the sort of end game of the Young Justice season, these last the last few episodes, like stuff's finally happening, so that's good. Um, <laughs> they're trying to tie it all together, um, but you know, it's with 26 episodes, I wouldn't recommend the whole entire season based on the fact that I'm finally like invested in what's happening with like three episodes to go. So. Um, it takes, yeah, about to episode 21 or something for stuff to really feel like it matters or makes sense relative mm -hmm. to each other. Um, but, you know, it, I, I'm going to finish it. It's not bad at this point. It sounds Some bad. of it was earlier. You have not sounds sounds like it again. I'm not, I'm not like trying to sell you on I'm it. Not, I'm not you feeling with it. Every time you've talked <laughs> about this, I'm just like, yep, I'm glad I never watched this. Yeah. No, it, yeah. yeah, whatever. But I'll finish it up <laughs> and we'll see how it ends. Um, All right. I, I am not exactly DC shill anymore. No. I, in fact, everything they do sucks now. Yeah, well... We'll, we'll talk about this more in the GameCast. We'll get to that later. <laughs> uh, let's talk about... Um, well, we'll talk about box office right now because I think that has to do with Marvel and Ant, and Ant-Man as well. Um, pretty yeah. big drop. Yep. Week to week. Mm -hmm. Biggest one, uh, right? seven, 69, 69.7%. Just seven under 70, which is still yeah. not good, but, ugh, God. No, no. Yep. Um, hell of a drop. Don't know how much Disney Plus plays into this, where a lot of people have said now they're just going to wait at this point for Disney Plus. Mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, at the end of the day, as we'll talk about um, on the spoiler cast coming up tonight, um, I, I was entertained by the movie, but I know that it's not, it's definitely not one of Marvel's strongest. It's it, it could use a lot of uh, could use a lot of um, pacing. I feel like in this movie, but we'll talk about that tonight more when we get to more spoiler cast stuff. But for I didn't mention that last week because I wasn't on. But I will say that um, Quantumania. Uh, I, I maybe it's my I had a big run in not getting to see it Saturday night that week, and I had to go see it Monday, and I was kind of bummed about that. But so maybe my you know I changed it. But I while I love the villain, I didn't think it was an uh, amazing movie. I just. You know, so I could see some of these people like, oh, I want to wait, and I, I don't argue with people wanting to wait at this point. I'm like, I don't think it's a must. <clears throat> yeah, go I, see it immediately. Thing. I think that's going to be the big issue here, just because like I don't know. I mean, Ant Man was always kind of like, whatever, C tier, whatever. Yeah. I'm amazed we got yeah. three movies from him anyway. But um, you know, they were they were low budget relative to all their other films. This one, they're like, 
well, let's try to up the stakes. Let's up the ante. We'll throw Kang at him, and we'll make it like CGI fest. I just feel it was a misstep in terms of like what I mean, what you want it, out yeah. of an Ant Man movie, right? Because like the it first made... two were heist, yeah, so you it, know heist movies, and I also feel like the ideas around shrinking and growing were um, fun, yeah, in the more fun and more yeah. more. Uh, uh, into like i don't know what i mean like, smarter, like better idea yeah better yeah. ideas of it this one was just very straightforward and um so i didn't think it was imaginative imaginative of, yeah. of how to use yeah, it yeah. um so i i did like i mean that's that's my biggest gripe really was that but yeah i mean i don't know i think that uh you know the box office is telling and i mean three movies of ant-man maybe wasn't the best decision and i do think this is obviously his last solo movie to get but um but yeah, so it did, um, what did it do, 39 yeah. million? Did it, did it, yeah. Not good. Uh, I think projected might do 500, which would either be losing money or breaking even, which, again, I've said several times, these movie, in, these yeah, movie companies aren't it for breaking even. They're right, and yeah. I don't think it was a bad decision to have a third Batman movie. I just think it was a bad decision to deviate so much from what the other two movies were. Yeah, because, like, I think yeah, you I think even said it. with the yeah. first two, like, they're kind of, like, family-friendly in terms of, like, the mm-hmm. superhero movies, like, they're relatively low stakes. Like, bad things happen, but, like, you know, not, like, too, too bad or anything like that. And this is, like, what, you're going to fight a super series of them? It's like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think Paul Rudd's, like, love that kind of main, we'll talk about it, but, but, you know. Yeah. Main, I get you. Well, uh, we'll get... Main man, yeah. We'll get into it. We'll yeah. get into that. We'll definitely get into that in the spoiler cast. But, yeah, Cocaine Bear, 23... 23 I forgot uh, this was million. that thing. I can't believe it. Um, <laughs> I can't believe what it did. Uh, Ray Liotta's last movie. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's okay. I don't think that was the draw, but yes, no. I do think that was. Uh, I forgot that. Uh, Jesus Re- Revolution was fifteen point eight million. So there's two big uh, movies actually that cut into Ant Man that we weren't expecting to be lo- as large as they were. So. Yeah, uh, that's your box office this week. Um, we'll see how everything goes uh, next week, though. Jonathan is it Jonathan Majors? Wait, mm-hmm. is that that's the guy who plays Kang, right? Kang. Yeah. 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 He has a shot. He has a chance to 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 lose number one spot to himself mm-hmm. with with Creed. He definitely III. will. Yeah. He definitely yeah. will. So I think this has only happened like a few times in box office history. So <laughs> it's interesting. Um. But all right, that's your box office. Let's get into some news. Um. Hang on, I got the news open, folks. I apologize. Didn't have it open. All right. Oh, um. Wow. Stephen Young. Steven Yeun, right? Uh, Steven Yeun uh, was cast apparently in a major role in the Marvel Universe for the Thunderbolts movie. Major role. Mm-hmm. Uh, any? That is, is there... Glenn from The Walking Dead. If you're oh, not yeah, sure I'm sorry. who that car- um, actor is. Yeah, I, I do uh, <coughs> think he's great. I, I think he's a great actor. Um, I'm excited to see him in this in the Marvel Universe. Mm-hmm. Actually, uh, I'm wondering who he's playing. Um, yeah. Especially because Maybe they called him out as a major role. So yeah. I don't know. And apparently they're changing up the lineup with Thunderbolts a little bit too. So, yeah. Oh, so that that roster is gonna adjust. Yeah. Okay. So that the initial picture may not be accurate. Okay. But we'll All see. Right. <clears throat> you know. Yeah, I don't know what Marvel is. Marvel doing too much with their C C and D tier heroes now at this point? Are they doing too much with those, trying to grab lightning in a bottle, or, or is that Marvel's tiredness, well, or is it just? Fatigue. They, what do they have left? I mean, they can still they have their major heroes. They have they, they, they have Spider Man, and they have to start up the X Men again. They, they used up. Four. They have fantastic. Yeah, four. I guess <laughs> if you want to I mean, count that, them as <laughs> whatever. It's but first family, man. That's that's it. Yeah, they're, all right. But I mean, they doing. used up most of the Avengers already, so you know they're yeah, I mean, working with what they have in their verse. Did they move on too fast from them? No, not no, really. It's been like people. 15 years, but you know, nothing lasts forever. I get it. I'm I not disagreeing. Think, I'm just. I just yeah, think Phase Four was a little too vague for most people. Like, unless you knew, because like you know, I was like, well, everything's about multiverse stuff. Like, that's what we're getting into. And <sighs> if you didn't keep up with everything, like it, I can see it being very disjointed or you know, yeah. very confusing. That's what like, I got from it. What is it? So yeah. like, I can I, see you know. I kept up with it and I felt that way. Right. So, yeah. And it's yeah. different from, you know, you're asking people to watch one, you know, like two or three movies a year to, hey, watch four movies a year plus three TV shows. Like, that's a lot, you know? Yeah, um, that's true. Mm-hmm. You know, even though a lot of the shows don't really fully connect to the movie, like you all have the cameos and stuff like that. Um, but I think it's just a combination of like that. <clears throat> I mean, Disney Plus release window is so short. 
So unless, like, you know, unless it's, like, an Avengers-level event, like, I could see a lot of people just being like, I'm going to save the 20 bucks or whatever, 50 bucks if I'm taking a date, or, you know, 100 bucks if you're taking the family. Like, I'll just wait 60 days to see mm. this movie on Disney+. Plus. Like, it's... Or 45? I don't, I don't remember the release window. Whatever it is. Whatever. Yeah, I think it's 45. Uh, yeah, I think it's 45. Like, the thing is, so. I just can't believe, like, out of all the, the you know, the mishaps last year... Like, I think Thor should have dropped way harder. Like, I think if Thor was like, yeah, drop 70%, I'd be like, yeah, deserve well, it. Like, that was a piece of shit. I, how much How much did Thor play into this? Where it, it just it it kills, a lot, of, it kills yeah. a lot of that it hype, have, right? So, yeah. yeah. It might have. So but... when, when you're when you're steamrolling, people are like, let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah. But when you have that, when you hit a wall, you're like, ah, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, got to restart this whole thing again. Um, so... Yeah, there, there's a lot of talk about how Marvel maybe has um, hit that wall, the fatigue wall, where it's like they need to come up with <laughs> it's a new soon. game plan. It's too soon. As it, I, I want to see how Guardians Three does, because um, if Guardians Three comes out and does well. a billion dollars, I mean, what do we? I you know, I still think it will. I mean, I might be wrong here, but I still think it does amazing. So, well, yeah. I just think it will. I mean, it's the cast on that one. Yeah. You're also dealing with an older set of heroes in this universe, where they're the original set, so yeah. you still have that. Yeah, and this um, one is kind of being set up as a conclusion to a storyline right. that's we've, we're, we, with these characters where I feel like Ant-Man was like, this is the beginning of Phase 5, and this is going to kick things off, and it doesn't didn't necessarily do, do that. that. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. I, I think so. Gar- Guardians is kind of separate from this. Like mm-hmm. it's, I don't think it's going to be pushing too much of yeah. Phase 5 stuff. It's going to be more concluding and finishing off storylines and character arcs and things like that. Yeah, right. I mean, I don't expect anything to kick up until we have what Captain America next year, or well, the Marvels are still this the year. Marvels, uh, uh, yeah. so the Marvels. November. I just wonder how much. Um, I mean, they already have a plan for the X Men kind of stuff, and I wonder if the Marvels starts to bring some new, more mutants into it. I, that's... Well, I wonder if that delay was partially due to, like, yeah. people slamming the Ant Man effects, <laughs> like. They, that's uh, I mean, that's definitely the definitely one thing they need to do is they need to fucking hire more they need studios to fix their effects. or yeah, you know, yeah. just because like spend more is, time. Sorry, especially when you're in, like Ant Man when like the whole movie is in CGI and like parts are just mm-hmm. so bad. You're just like, what are we doing here? Yeah, yeah. but yeah, I, I, yeah. Is it, that's the thing with Marvel is it's going to be another space that's not real, right? It's going to that we don't have physical locations for. So yeah. yeah. So all right. Uh, let's see. And then a couple more things in news. We've got, let's go to the Nintendo side of things for the movie news. I love this. Um, what's the opposite Pokemon... of the Oh, oh go, go ahead. Go, sorry. Oh, I sorry. was going to do Pokemon first yeah, yeah. and we'll finish with a fun one. Uh, so Pokemon Concierge, animated series coming to Netflix. I thought this was interesting because it's going to be stop motion animation. Mm-hmm. Like, I, that's interesting. Like, I, yeah. I am, I'm going to check it out. Absolutely going to mm-hmm. check this out. Um, you know, Pokemon itself, I've, I've kind of dabbled a little more into the show recently because my daughter's gotten more into Pokemon. Uh, so we've Ooh. started rewatching those older episodes. There's, Ooh. man, man, Squirtle Squad. Oh, man, you can't mm. beat that episode. You just really can't. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so she's getting into Pokemon now. So it's like this Netflix show uh, is interesting because I, 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 I'm, a, you know, I'm a sucker for stop motion animation. I just yeah. I absolutely love the old style animation. Nobody does it anymore, and it's just so cool. Um, mm-hmm. So I'm I'm looking forward to this quite a bit. Yeah, I think it'll be so, interesting. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah. So then, uh, then as we tie this also into more Nintendo news, uh, so not delaying Mario, which is great because I saw Mario has a, cha- a date change, and I'm like, uh oh. So instead of April seventh, it's going to April fifth, which I think is a Wednesday now. Correct. Yeah. Bumped it up two days. So they're they're bumping it up, getting that extra dollars, right? Yeah, I guess. I mean. <clears throat> I just think that means they they're pretty confident now in this movie, um, and you just bump it up to try to you know pad the numbers. Be like biggest video game movie opening ever because you got five yeah. days, you know you got five days or whatever mm-hmm. it is now. You know, yeah, I mean that's it. So day, I think so. I mean I wonder how much the, the days cut into the weekend a box office, but um, I have high expectations for this movie. Um, not for the how I I hope it's great. But I think financially, I have high expectations for this movie. Like, I think it's going to do really well uh, mm-hmm. worldwide. Worldwide. Not yeah, just, well, I mean, I think my bold um, prediction was a billion dollars. So we'll see. Oh, yeah. I think, <laughs> I think, I think I it feels like it. that's like yeah. not going to be a problem. Uh, yeah. Like, I, because like if we're getting minions close to a billion, like this is going to soar past. I hope so. Billion. I hope so. We'll see. You know. Guys, maybe we can do a little AYCG movie night. 
for Mario. Okay. And we go to Easton, maybe. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Oh, we, well, you guys maybe... got to come down to me for a change? All right. Uh, I mean, I'm not opposed to this. I think maybe we should try to swing this. All right. For, uh, I, listen, maybe I'm more excited than, than you. Luck, guys. You guys are Have the fun. Sonic crew. <laughs> uh, but, you know, we're the, we're the Mario crew, uh, uh, Tony and myself. But uh, you, you, you can't go, Mike? All right. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Uh, but yeah. Yeah. I'm not saying Wednesday night that week, but we could pick a night. Uh, you know what I mean? Uh, at some point. But uh, so, or morning. I like matinees now. I actually love going to matinees. So, uh, you know, I did that for Ant-Man. Uh, I went to a 12 o'clock showing. Not only is it cheaper, uh, better seats. It's quieter theater. There's nobody else there, really. It's it, it was a theater. It was pretty, it was not jam-packed, but it was full. Um, mm-hmm. So, I, I but I enjoyed it. Like, I don't know. I just like it better. Get out. You go, you know, it's like, okay, I still got the day left here. I'm going to go, you know, do all, it's my day off. So I did more stuff and, um, but yeah, so I like matinees. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. So, and the pricing tier change doesn't affect me. <laughs> yes. So, yeah. But I do have my free vouchers. <laughs> uh, I, I see a churro. Yeah, churro. Absolutely. No people. Right? Quieter. You can enjoy the movie more. Um, and thanks for joining us again, by the way. So uh, that I think that's it for the news for the movie cast side of things. We have a we do have a bonus round coming up on the movie side, um, but we do have game cast next. So we're gonna wrap up this one. Uh, so thanks for tuning in mm-hmm. once again on Twitch Tuesday nights eight o'clock. Join us live. You can chat with us. We'll have we'll. Have, we'll converse back and forth no problems wednesday uh the day after it's wednesday uh, on youtube so please subscribe to both channels so you get the latest and greatest notifications from us uh that's going to do it for the movie cast episode but please join us for the game cast we will be right back <laughs>